Hi, I'm going to show you how to play Heart of Gold by Neil Young. I'll play through the song first, and then I'll show you the chords. Here we go. show you the chords. So here are the chords for Heart of Gold. Uh, we're going to start off with an E minor, and the E minor is open sixth string, first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, then your second finger on the second fret of the third of the fourth string, sorry, and then open third string, open second string, open first string. You strum all six strings. And so for the intro, I just kind of hit the low end, and then so then hit the high end for the strumming, and then you go to D major, and D major is open fourth string, and the first finger goes on the second fret of the third string, and then you have your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And then you're going to have your second finger on the second fret of the first string. And you strum four strings from the fourth string down. So the intro E minor. So it's E minor to D major to E minor. And then it does that again. into the verse since I'm not playing harmonica and so <clears throat> the first part of the verse I wanna live. so that's C major so it starts on the E minor I wanna live. so that's C major right there and that's the uh, third finger on the third fret of the fifth string then you have your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string you have open third string, and you have first finger on the first fret of the second string, and then open first string, and you strum from the fifth string down. So. All right, there's your C major. So that's the second chord, and then your third chord is going to be D major, which we already went over. And then we have G major. So the way I play G major might be different from how you play it. 
I play my second finger on the third fret of the sixth string. Then I mute the fifth string by laying that finger a little bit flat. And then it's open fourth string, open third string, open second string. And then my pinky is on the third fret of the first string. Now if you're used to playing a, a G major a different way, like let's say with probably the traditional way of teaching it is with the first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, that's fine, it'll work too. I just like this one, it's only two fingers. So there you go. Might be easier for you if you're having trouble with the G major. So now you have all four chords for the verse. So let's go through it. I wanna go from E minor, C major, D major, G major, and I just do that through the verse. Heart of gold. It's these expressions I never give. And then now we're going to get into the chorus, which starts on the E minor, which we already went over, so E minor. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. And that's your G major right there. Then you go to C major. And I'm getting old. So that was C major to G major. And so what I do to give it a little percussiveness is the C major, I do some scratching. In order to do the muted scratches, you go. So it's just resting your fingers, not pushing down on the actual strings. So you push down for the strums, and then rest, and, and not actually push down. Just have contact to mute them. And that's how you mute the strings, to do scratches. Um, so where were we? Let's see. And keep me searching for a heart. Some tricks you could do instead of the scratching is just you could just strum it. Um, so like, keep me searching for a heart of gold, and I'm getting old. Keep me searching for a heart of gold, and I'm getting old. So that might be easier for you to just strum through it instead of doing the scratches. But if you want to add some percussiveness, the scratches are great for that. So let's go on to the second verse. And so I go right <laughs> into the second verse after the chorus, rather than any harmonica breaks. <clears throat> the E minor, C major, D major, G major that we did in the first verse, so it continues like that. And then you're going to get into the second chorus. That keeps me searching for a heart of gold, and I'm getting old. Keeps me searching for a So just E minor. Oops, sorry there. <laughs> e minor to G major, sorry. Um, so. Keeps me searching for a heart of gold. 
to C major, and I'm getting on back to G major, right there, G major, and then it goes to the E minor again. So now we've done the first, we've done the intro, we've done the first verse, the first chorus, second verse, second chorus. Now we're on to what I call just the um, instrumental break, which I like to give before doing the last chorus, which is more of an outro. And I just go through the verse chord, so. C major, D major, G major, E minor, C major, D major, G major, E minor, C major, D major, G major. And then I give a little bit of the, uh, a way into the last chorus by doing the E minor. Same as way back at the beginning, the intro, where we did E minor to D major. So this is a, a little bit different than our other choruses, and that's why it's an outro chorus. So I do it once without singing, and then I sing the rest of them, and I'll show you how it goes. So here's the one without singing into the rest of them. similar to the choruses but the chords are different and the melody is a little different so, so you do E minor to D major back to E minor keep me searching for a heart of gold same thing again you keep me searching and I'm growing old one more time with the E minor D major keep me searching for a heart of gold now it changes to the regular chorus version. Been a minor for a heart of gold. That's just G major right there into C major. And then ends on the G major. So go back and uh, listen to the full song now that you know all the different parts and I've explained all the chords. And thank you for watching.